Okay, so we're doing the, the rear brake conversion. I already got the old drums off. I'll show you what those looked like um, in, a, in a picture here. But right now, I'm working on the universal parking brake cable. Um, and so this is somewhat of the kit. I have it on the ground because I was kind of test fitting some stuff. Um, I ran into a lot of issues with this because I have never worked with wire cable before or anything like that. So when you look at the old one, it has these ends on the on here that I've never uh, dealt with before. And then this all kind of went into something pretty simply in the old drum brake. But with the new Willwood kit, you have to have their special tool for for the Willwoods, you have to have the special tool that fits on this right here. Um, and then it'll go through here and go through the same frame mount. And then I am going to, instead of doing a full kit, so this connects up to the parking brake cable, but I'm basically going to do this, and then on the other end here, I'm going to have the new parking brake cable. So, my problem was that I needed to figure out how to terminate this other end. Now, I have already made a lot of mistakes, and so that's why I wanted to make the video, because I think there's a lot of people that don't know how to do this, or maybe have never done this, kind of like me. So basically what you, you got to do... So essentially what I had to do and what I recommend that you do is if you have a welder, you can weld a nut on or something like that. But the cleaner way and technically the right way is go to pretty much any hardware store, go to the rope, chain, cable, wire section. Um, I just went to Home Depot and pick yourself up some uh ferrules for the end and you'll have to buy a crimp tool uh, if you don't have one already this one works really well again i got it at um, home depot i've done a couple just test ones and it did it went very well um, i was actually thinking of returning that but then it worked so well that i actually think i'm going to just use it because i don't really only needed it for this job but i might just keep it and use it for other projects um, the other thing i highly recommend is going and getting some wire cable uh, cutters. Uh, I tried using some of the other cutters that I have, but uh, yeah, they kind of they kind of dulled them up. So this is like what you get all this stuff in the Willwood kit. I, I personally, I think it's too much stuff. Um, I'm not necessarily I don't necessarily need to do a complete new brake uh, cable. So. I'm going to crimp this one on, and then I'll show you how I mount it on the car. And then I got to go get another one of these because I screwed up the first one. Um, and I'll get to how I did that too. So essentially, so with, essentially, you just got to crimp this on to the end, and this becomes your terminal. And that will go into that little clamp there at, um, on the end. And again, I'll show you how all this fits together underneath the car and everything. So here's where I went wrong. Um, so this is my first ferrule, um, and it's one eighth inch. Uh, and you, as you can see, and here's the other piece, I had to cut it off of there. I crimped it down and everything, and I had to cut it off because I'm an income poop and didn't include the sheathing. Now the sheathing in and of itself, and I'm actually going to have to trim this down, it's basically... Um, it's basically a metal tube with a rubber outer and a rubber inner. And the whole goal of this, or the point of this, is so that this cable never gets bound up on anything. Um, and that way, when you pull, if you need to pull the emergency brake or the parking brake, there's nothing preventing this from sliding inside that sheathing. Uh, I crimped the end on, and uh, yeah, I, I obviously, you know, I didn't put the sheathing on, so that's a problem. Um, so I had to cut it off, and I'm going to have to go get another one, but I can still show you guys on the, the good one that I do have, and we can kind of go from there, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll walk you through that. Um, 
Now the the only other thing that I'm gonna sh or the one of the other things I'm gonna show you is this sheathing. Now, again, like I said, it's a metal tube, but you don't want to use like bolt cutters or anything. You don't want to use bolt cutters to cut this because if you do, you risk you have the risk of basically constricting or um, basically compressing the, the metal tube on the inside. And that's obviously not what you want. You want to be able to get a clean cut. So what I've been using is I've just basically been using my Dremel tool with a, a cutoff wheel. And it's honestly worked pretty well. Um, and again, I don't need a lot of this, so I've, I've kind of gradually cut it down. I probably could have measured better the first couple times, but again, I'm kind of going slow. Other than, or I'm going slow now that I screwed up the, the one feral thing because I was hoping to get this project done tonight. But that's not going to happen. But that's all right. I'll uh, go to the store tomorrow and get some new parts, and then everything will be hunky-dory. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put my hood down, or my face shield, and I'm going to cut this. And you guys get to see what that looks like. <laughs> So what I'm doing now is I'm actually just cutting the, 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 the rubber piece off. That way I can actually see the metal that I'm cutting um, instead of trying to guess my way through it. Instead of trying to guess my way through it. It should just kind of slide right off of here. And actually this will be a good video because then I get to show you what the the sheathing look actually looks like or the metal piece looks like because it's not a regular it's not just a metal tube um they actually put kind of a spiral tube on here if i can get this off It just kind of spins off here, actually. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like. It's a spiral tubing kind of thing. I think it's to help it kind of bend and, and rebound and things like that. And then it'll also help, obviously, the, the sliding and things like that. So um, we're going to cut this down. Again, I, I, I cut this too long to begin with, just because uh, I and I knew that. Um, so we're going to cut it down, and then we'll put it on, and then we'll uh, I'll, I'll go underneath the car and show you guys what I'm kind of doing to do my fitments and things for, what I, uh, for the brake line that I need. There are things that are much faster than that, um, like a cutoff wheel on an angle grinder, which I have, which I'm just dumb and or just didn't feel like getting out. Um, I would clean this up as much as possible, just so you don't prick yourself. Um, I'm just going to kind of clean this up. I highly recommend a face shield, um, especially when you're doing any type. When you're doing any type of cutting, um, you don't want metal shavings going all the way around. At the least, you need safety goggles and even maybe goggles or uh, safety glasses. Um, and yeah, so all right, so that's how you cut. It, that's how I cut it down. Um, again, there's there's better ways, obviously. Um, but now we're gonna go underneath the car, and I'll show you kind of how to how I fit this up and what I'm trying to achieve here. Okay, so the parking brake cable kit actually comes with a stopper already in there. 
and then these it comes with these clips too and basically you just uh, feed basically just feed this wire through that hole and it comes down now this clip is specific for the Wellwood kit I didn't check but you might be because I needed the wire too but you might be able to buy these clips individually and then you can buy your own wire um, but I just bought the whole kit because it comes with the sheathing the wire and this and then really all I had to do is worry about terminating the other end um, so let me show you how this connects so this is the the clip that I was just talking about um, that comes in the kit and it goes on this little tab right here um, and it seems like it doesn't fit but um, you want to make sure that you're obviously in the inside of your brake line and then it kind of goes on here and then once you kind of get it on there and then pull it back on it it will go um, I hope you guys can see that and then it just kind of snaps on there and then once you have the sheathing the sheathing will kind of go in here um, they actually come with some some other stuff that you can put in here to like um, help protect it more but I really think the sheathing is fine um, and then you're gonna run the the other end of the wire back you're gonna run the end of the wire back through the frame back up there, there's a hole that I'll show you in a minute um, that goes right back to and then it'll reach up to right to that clip so I'm gonna put the sheathing on here put this back on and then I'll, I'll meet you guys back underneath the car okay so we're back underneath the car this hole right here is the hole that I was talking about it's right up above where your lower control arm comes and that's the hole you want to put your um, brake line through and then it'll come around this is the original brake line that goes back up to the pole or the, the the parking brake cable and it comes back here and there's this clip here and that's what i'm going to connect it up to it comes back here it should be kind of taut um you can see here on the pan where somebody again sorry riveted floor pans in that's a fix for another day um and you can see where it's been rubbing so you do want it kind of tight up there and so now I'm going to show you guys kind of how I'm going to measure this out to make my cuts for the wire and then also where I want to put that terminal end um, that I'm going to crimp on the end here too. So that's next. Okay, so now we're on the green car. You can see how the sheathing comes through that hole in the firewall. And that's actually where the old parking brake cable came through from the drum brakes. Um, and there's a clip that held those on that I took off that was a little difficult, but you just gotta get some pliers and it'll come out. Um, but so here's here, here's the wire with the sheathing coming through there. And I purposely have a lot left because you have to be able to get in here. And then again, you want this kind of taut. So that's what I'm hoping to get to. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my mark about right there on the thing. And that's where I'm gonna make my crimp for the the end of the, the terminal end there um so and then i'm also going to obviously trim the the wire down a little bit but but i'm going to do that after i get the ferrule crimped on there the, the or the terminal end crimped on there okay so now i have i have my mark right here um i just made it with a sharpie just so i know uh, generally where I need where I need the terminal end here to go and this just kind of slides on there and then I like to put a little piece of electrical tape right underneath where I want it where I want this to end up that way I know this that the the, the end here is not moving around at all um, and that it can't go any deeper now it does get kind of a pain to kind of to try to take this off but again it's just just to keep so it keeps that in spot and I actually might put a piece of tape on the other end that way it doesn't move forward on me I'm trying to do this um, and make sure that you I, that I'm getting the shot for everybody um, but yeah super simple um, so now that this is on there and it's right where I want it I am going to crimp it on 
And to do that, you got to use your crimp tool and you slide it on. This is a 1 8. And so you put it in there. You want to try to get it on there as good as you can. And then that's it. That's the first crimp. I suggest, and it is suggested, so now that it's crimped, and I'll bring the camera, or I'll bring this to the camera so you can see it. So when it crimps it, there are those little, little bit of outlier things. So what I like to do is I like to go again and crimp it again this way, um, just to make sure it's on there good. And then I'm actually gonna crimp it just so the top part is, up, is also crimped. Um, Again, just to make sure that it's not coming off because this is not something obviously you want to come off. So not the prettiest thing or most glamorous thing, but it's on there. It's not coming off. Um, it's always nice. You probably should get a pair of pliers and just try to yank it off there. You shouldn't be able to, obviously, um, but it's a, it's a good test. And then you just take your electrical tape off. And then you can go back and it should be ready to go back up on the car. And if I did it right and measured right and marked right, Again, it should be done and be ready to go on the car. And then I just got to trim this piece down. And again, I will use the I will use the the wire trimmers, um, also from Home Depot, just to kind of get it so it's a little cleaner. And again, it takes a little bit of force, but I suggest you get a set of these. Um, because they will, any other type of tool you try to use, they will they will cut them up or dull, dull them up for sure. Um, and then you get a nice clean cut too. So now we're gonna go put it on the car and hopefully job well done. All right, so we're now back underneath the car um, and I'm gonna bring the old brake line, or parking brake, sorry, I keep saying brake line over here and try to slide that in there and it's right on there. And that's honestly pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of slack that I might be able to take out. Um, I probably would like that to be a little bit more taut. Um, but this does. This is one single wire going basically all the way around to the other side. So I can also fix that when I go to that other side as well. So that's basically how I did it. Um, I, I mean, I don't think it's the bad way or the wrong way. But I don't think it's necessarily the best way either. Um, and just to basically to do that to the other side, you just basically do it to the other side um, and measure and cut and then uh, you're all good to go and you got your parking brake set up. And now that, now that we have that done, we can start continuing on the rear brakes once I get that drill bit. All right, so the parking brake cable is in both sides. Uh, I think it went fairly well and fairly smooth once I had the right tools, go figure. So if you do have the same system that I do, this is kind of what you can use to adjust the tension. Um, and that's what I used. And so when I got all this done, I tried to get as much as I clo could close to the, um, the stock length on the, the wire cable that I did, um, that I got from the Willwood Universal kit. Um, but then you basically come in here and you just have to tighten these screws. And then I have a lock screw here too, just to make sure that this doesn't back off. And then you just tighten that down. Um, I basically use the whole thing, whole, line of threads i don't suggest you do that i think what you should probably should do is make those a little shorter um and it'll go a lot quicker it, it'll be a lot simpler um but yeah overall i was i'm happy with it i think uh for what i needed it it did its job